Good morning. It's Saturday. Now, don't think that it's Sunday. I know it's like one of them bank holidays, isn't it? Or where they put the clocks back and I just like to play with your brains. It's Saturday. I'm live. It is nine o'clock as well. I've come for a walk. Well, I opened the curtains this morning. I thought, oh, I'll do a sunrise walk. Um, I was going to get up early, but I overslept. And then I saw there was a big black cloud and it started spitting. So I thought, I am going to go for a Saturday morning walk. Well, to walk off a bit of food as well, because I've done bad on the diet last night. I've done bad. So it's time to walk off what I ate. Good morning. Good morning, all. How are you? I am going live tomorrow as well. Do not panic. I am doing my usual Sunday, uh, sat Sunday morning, but I'm absolutely shattered. I'll explain why on the way. Um, but let's tell you where we're starting. We're right by the Mirador Papagayo Hotel there with beautiful views, look. And that is the Sandos Papagayo and the Gran Castillo Hotel. I mean, look at that place. Two massive hotels there. And they sort of overlook Papagayo beaches. So you've got Papagayo beaches over that way. And it's bloody raining. It's spitting. Now, yesterday I did the weather and I did say that it was cloudy in the morning and during the afternoon, I mean, it was beautiful blue skies again. Um, so do not panic too much. Today, it's only spitting, but... Well, good morning, Mark, how are you? <laughs> good morning, good morning, Saturday morning. So I'm gonna have a little walk. I'm gonna walk down to Marina Rubicon. We'll see the market store holders setting up for the day. Um, it's not gonna be a massive one. It's not going to be huge because um, it's Saturday. Well, why am I walking today? Well, yesterday, I just screwed up yesterday. You know, when you have one of them days, I've done quite well on my diet. Well, I haven't. Let's, let's discuss the week of eating. If you don't know, I'm on a low carb diet. I've, I don't want to swear, but I've effed it up. I've absolutely effed it up this week. Um, I had the opportunity to do a mukbang video with Lauren Griffiths, who's really big on TikTok. Um, so she ruined me on Tuesday. <laughs> that sounds really bad, doesn't it? I did a mukbang video. A mukbang video is where you eat food. And she's like a, a foodie sort of TikToker. And um, I said, oh, do you want to do a video? And we did salty peppers. So that ruined me on, I think that was Monday. No, that was Tuesday. I can't even remember. And then, um, and then from there, it's just gone downhill. And then last night, I was knackered. I had a can of Monster in the afternoon, which is always bad. And then it was sweets and crisps and ice cream. And I'm actually allergic to ice cream. It just screws me off. So uh, I, I woke up this morning. I thought, I've got to get out and walk this morning. Otherwise, well, I'm just going to fall into a stupor. But let's have a look at these views. It's raining. Dan the man. It, it, well, it's sort of. It's not actually at the moment. It's spitting. Tiny bit of spitting. But you can see that dirty cloud there. Dirty, dirty cloud. <laughs> so I don't know what to do. Alfie's got a sore throat. He was off school yesterday. Mrs. Travelon took him to the doctors. Waited three and a half hours. And all they gave was paracetamol. So she was well annoyed yesterday. But I suppose if he doesn't need antibiotics, but then... I know what happens when he has a throat infection, it gets worse and he ends up having to go back. So let's see. Beautiful views over here, look, to Fuerteventura. And it's a gorgeous walk along here. You can actually walk, I'm gonna put my shades on, look. You can actually walk all the way to Papagayo beaches that way. I am gonna do it one day. I keep threatening, don't I? But you can walk all the way from here, all the way to the lighthouse in Playa Blanca, which is miles away, all the way up there. Um, so, we'll have a little chat on the way to the market. There's quite a few people having a little morning walk. I don't know whether we'll meet anybody today, because it's not like my usual. If you haven't already or you've just joined us, welcome to the channel. I am Mr. Travel On. I want you to make sure to follow this channel, hit the heart button to get more people on this morning, and also head over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to that, because I do all my videos over there, because, uh, well, it's better. Um, Videos that have gone up this week, we've done, oh, I bought Mrs. Travel On, a fantastic gift. You can see Mr. Travel On being romantic over on YouTube. 
And I, I've been out and I bought her an amazing gift. Just what a woman needs. Uh, for those of you that know, you know. For those of you that don't know, head over to YouTube. You'll be able to see what amazing gift I bought Mrs. Travel on. And then um, we did an unboxing with Mrs. Travel on as well and showed you what I bought her. So that's over on YouTube. I've also yesterday put the update of the Lidl and the Aldi. Hello, how are you? Good morning. How are you? You're right. And my voice is going. I didn't think I'd see anybody on a Saturday. I don't usually go live on a Saturday. Really? No, yeah, I usually do Sunday mornings, but I thought I'll come and do a little bit of live. How are you? You're right. Yeah, you having a good holiday? Yeah, yeah we're going home today. So. You go, well, it's a good job because I think it's going to start raining. Yeah, we well, it's spitting a little bit, isn't it? Yeah, we felt a bit when we came Where have you been right? stopping? Uh, oh, it's nice there, isn't it? Yeah, we came in January. Yeah. And then we were booked in the big Barcelona. Oh. But we changed to that because it was a lot cheaper. So, oh, there you go. Save uh, yourself some pennies. We got a free upgrade when we got there. We happy got days. A sweet instead of a CD. Oh, happy days. You hit the lottery yeah. then. Well, look, have a couple of me stickers, look. Oh, My face on your case. <laughs> Say hello to everyone. See you later. Lovely to meet you. Um, yeah, so what was I saying? Little and Aldi. I've done the update of Little and Aldi, the new supermarkets. Did that yesterday. Um, and I think that's it on YouTube this week. I've done quite a bit on YouTube. So head over there anyway, while I gabble on. So what else we got here? Well, you've got some lovely new apartments here. Look, somebody's built these. Um, I'd love to own one of them. I think they're, they're definitely rented out as holiday homes, but it'd be nice to live there, wouldn't it? Just opening the curtains every morning and seeing that. Gorgeous. Is that a Cora there? No, I'm in Playa Blanca today. Heading over to Gran Canaria on Monday. Can't wait. So am I, not Monday. Um, Ray, um, I'm heading over there soon because I haven't been over to Gran Canaria for a while. There's a lot I need to do. Oh. Morning, you're all right? Yeah, good. Having a little uh, little jog. So yeah, there's a lot I need to do. I need to head over to Gran Canaria. I've got loads of videos planned. Um, so let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Look at that. Look at the cloud over Fuerteventura there. Will it rain? Is it going to start tipping down with rain? That is the big question. That is the big question. One of the... So we're going to head that way into Marina Rubicon, see the market all being set up and see what's out and about there. Um, and then there's something, there's a big tent or something up there and I don't know what that's all about. So we'll have a little look. We'll have a little look there as well. Uh, right, what else? Not long back from Gran Canaria, such a lovely place. Yeah, Gran Canaria. I am. Um, me and Mrs. Travel on lived in Gran Canaria and worked in Gran Canaria for about, I think it was about a year. Um, Jack was conceived in Gran Canaria. I should have called him Gran Canaria, shouldn't I? And I haven't been back for quite a while. Um, it's not my favourite Canary Island. Like I said, Tenerife, I think, has got lots more to do. Um, I've got to do a video on Tenerife. If, if, um, a lot of people are saying Tenerife's unsafe um, and it really annoys me because although it's a little bit more exciting than Lanzarote, should I say, with, with excitement comes a little bit of dodginess, doesn't it? So it's only really that one place in Tenerife, that Veronica's, that's a little bit, you know, can be a little bit risky. But I mean, that's the club in place. That's where people go to party. So what do you expect? So I am going to do... Um, a video all about Tenerife and is it safe? In fact, in saying that, it'll probably be on somebody else's channel over in Tenerife tomorrow because I know the, the eyes are watching and it seems to be, well, if I, did a, if I did a video of going to the toilet the next day, it'd be on somebody else's channel over in Tenerife. Well, weird people in this world, isn't there? If you know, you know. Right, beautiful place here, Cala Suites. Absolutely gorgeous, look at this. All white in there. I've done a full video on YouTube where uh, Tracy and Philip show me around this place and show me a room. That's over in on YouTube. Have a look at that, beautiful. And again, lovely views all the way over there. So far, so good. It's not raining. I felt a little bit of spitting when I got out of the car and that's as far as we've gone. No wind today either. Well, little wind so here look if you rent one of these front front line villas don't want to disturb anybody i don't think anybody's in that one anyway 
If you rent one of the front line villas, look, where you get your own little pool as well. That's nice, isn't it? Look at that. So if you don't rent one of them, you're over on the other side, but we can get a good old nose in here. So don't you worry about that. Um, we'll have a good look. You've got the castle over there as well. I'll take you over there and show you that. And like I said, we're going to head into the market because it's Saturday, Wednesday and Saturday, Play Blanca Market's on. Look at this place. This is beautiful, honestly. Oh. So Tracy and Philip showed me around here. Well, Tracy, Tracy showed me around. Phil just chilled, <laughs> as he does. And then they also came back and showed me a beautiful place in Puerto Calero, the Royal Marina. So I did both with them. They only stop in all the good places, but this is their favorite place. They're always in here. And it's like a boutique hotel. Uh, not too many rooms, look. And look at that for a place. Absolutely gorgeous, isn't it? Thank you, Neil. Good morning, Neil. I didn't expect any of the moderators to be on. How do you know when I'm on, eh? Thought I'd do a little surprise. I thought no one would be on. So there you go. Look at that. Color Suites, it's called. There's the sign. As I said, over on my YouTube channel, I've done a full video of that. And you'll be able to see that oh, on there. I'll tell you what, eating shite last night, I'm really suffering this morning. I think the best thing to do is to just walk and just see if I can burn it off a little bit because I had three bags of sweets. It's Mrs. Travel on. I said, get some nibbles. And I thought she'd bring like something savory, like some nuts or something or some crisps, but she bought a big bag of, big bag of crisps, three bags of sweets, <laughs> which I ate most of and then a tub of ice cream. And I certainly shouldn't be eating ice cream. And she said, you don't want any, do you? I said, yeah, give me some. I've already screwed up. I may as well double screw up. I'm all in me with everything. That's my problem in life. I'm all or nothing. I'm all or nothing. So look at this. There's a big greenhouse here. Are they growing bananas? No. This is, well, I think they set this up for something called, um, what was it yesterday? You know, when they have these stupid days, which nobody actually gives an absolute shite about. It was World Tourism Day yesterday. I mean, my whole life and my business and everything is, on world, is, is about tourism. But I can't be bothered to get involved with these muppets that just put a day on. Oh, let's do World Tourism Day. And then you just get these companies posting a picture and a video on Facebook. Oh, happy World Tourism Day. I didn't even post nothing. I didn't post nothing. What's the point? Absolute nonsense. It's just so all these politicians can get together, shake hands with each other, pose for a photo to show how good they're doing for tourism, where realistically, they're actually doing nothing. Like all around the world. Anyone in politics is doing absolutely nothing but taking bribes and backhanders. <laughs> but I think they had an event here. They didn't advertise it, so nobody knew about it. As always, they do no advertising whatsoever. I mean, it would take two minutes to just drop me a WhatsApp, wouldn't it? Oh, Mr. Travelon, could you tell people we're having a big event here? And I'd be like, yeah, of course. But I don't know whether it's an event that's on today or an event that was on yesterday. I don't even know. And I don't care, in all honesty. I'll show you the real side of things. Uh, and free clothes and glasses, exactly. It's all happening in the world. We'll have a little, we'll have a little rant in a bit about what's going on. Um, well, there's a few things I want to rant about. You know me, I, I enjoy a good rant. It's usually a Sunday morning rant, but yeah. These politicians, geez. I saw a picture of them. Um, with this World Tourism Day, they're all in a line, shaking hands, looking like this shit don't stink, you know. And uh, it was um, celebrating how they've done so well for tourism. They haven't at all. They don't even advertise properly. I think I'm the, I think I'm the only person that advertises Lanzarote. Um, and then you've got Mike and Julie, Lanzarote Information. They do a great job uh, promoting Lanzarote as well. Vince PH, he does a good job promoting Lanzarote. None of them do a good job promoting Lanzarote, I can tell you that now. <laughs> Nicola, don't get me started on that. I shall discuss that in a minute. Let me show you these views first. 
<laughs> right, look at this. So you've got Marina Rubicon there, which is where I'm heading. The market's been set up. Um, sometimes, well, a lot of the time the tide will come in here. You'll see a lot of fishermen down by them rocks. I'm not going to walk down in there, but glasses on because the sun is booming now, look. I don't think it's going to rain today, look. It may look dark and grim, look, but I think it's going to be sorted. I don't think we've got nothing to worry about today at all. Look, the blue skies are coming out already. So this is the castle. It's a nice little place to just to come. Bring the kids. They can have a little walk around the castle, look. And like I said, stunning views. So again, you've got Cala Suites there. You've got the Mirador Papagayo. In the distance there, you've got Sandos Papagayo and Gran Castillo. And then that is Papagayo Beaches. So those are like the, they're not private beaches, but you can only access them by walking across that mountain top there or driving down a sort of really bumpy dirt track. I've done a video on Papagayo as well, so you can have a little look at that. And I am going to walk it one day and do a video as well. So stay tuned for that. Um, and there's the big tent, which I don't know. Again, don't know what's going on with that. But yes, event-wise, well, you've got this that nobody knows about, but we've got a big event today for my favorite people in the world, cyclists. Yes, indeed. So um, it's, caused, it's caused carnage in the travel industry because they're blocked off roads. So a lot of people had excursions booked and we had to change them because they blocked the road off for this cycling event um a lot of the roads are closed and stuff like that and detours and things like that so i'm staying well away because you know me and cyclists we don't really mix but it did make me question sportingness and for those of you that are cyclists i had one on the other day saying why don't you like cyclists because you just get in my way most of the time um, i've got nothing against cycling if you want to if you want to clad yourself up with uh, with Lycra and go cycling on the main road, that's entirely up to you. Um, just stay on the side. Don't get in my way. But football is played on a football pitch. Rugby is played on a rugby pitch. Golf on a golf course. Cricket played on a cricket thing. If you want to go and watch it, you go and watch it. It's your choice, isn't it? N none of them sports do anything to my life at all. Cycling is on the main bloody road. So we have to all bow down and change all our lives so that these lot can go and ride a bike. <laughs> There's the rant for a Saturday morning. Let's have a little look. Let's have a little look here, look. Beautiful views here. So this is Marina Rubicon. Like I said, the market should have started actually. <laughs> Will you be, I will be live tomorrow, Tracy. Don't worry, this is like an extra for you. A little extra. I need to walk off the sweets and ice cream and chocolate that I ate yesterday. And I tell you, good morning, how are you? You all right? Thank you. And I definitely need to walk it off because I'm sweating. Look at that, here we go. Beautiful place here, little hidden gem this, little hidden gem. Just down here, if you want to come away, I don't know, maybe, maybe you're with your bird or you're, uh, or your wife, <laughs> or your girlfriend, on a little cheeky holiday look. Come here, look how romantic. You can sit on that bench. You've got views of the castle. Look at them blue skies are coming out now. And you've got views over to Fuerteventura. That's looking clearer as well. And you can just sit there. Little, little place. Away from everybody. So if you're a miserable old git like me, and you just like your own company, come sit down there and watch the world go by. Take some sandwiches. Have a little nibble. Lots of joggers out today, on a Saturday. That is a lovely view, isn't it, Jill? Where are you today? I'm in Playa Blanca, and I'm walking down to Marina Rubicon. Um, yeah, so we can have a little look at that. There was something else I was going to discuss with you. Oh, I can't remember. I can't, well, we, we touched on politics, didn't we? I mean, that's going crazy. And let's talk about Philip Schofield. Apparently he's coming back on TV on Channel 5. I mean, whether you agree in what he did was right or wrong, he was in the public eye, he shouldn't have done it, and he should close his TV career and crack on with something else. He shouldn't be allowed back on TV. 
Who are we going to have next? That newsreader from BBC, is he going to come back on TV? All's forgiven. You know, you can do whatever you want if you're a TV celebrity. All's forgiven. Give it a few months, let everyone shut up about it, and then we'll whack you back on TV, put you on a desert island, and uh, you can cry your eyes out. We'll all feel sorry for you, Philip, and then you'll be back on this morning before you know it. Absolutely disgusting. Um, it's absolutely sickening. Because if that was me and you that did that or, or anything like that, we'd be banged up in prison, wouldn't we? So that's annoyed me. And uh, we had a discussion last night in the Travel On household. We have watched, every week we sit down, we have, a, we have family film night on a Friday or a Saturday. We always say, right, who's picking the film? And we've got one of them dodgy boxes that has all the latest films on. Um, and I tell you what, for the last four weeks, we've watched a film and literally within half an hour, an hour, we've all stood up and buggered off uh, because the films are shite. What happened to films? The only films that we've watched that are good, because what the kids do when they have their dinner, they pick a film and they just watch it every time they eat their dinner, are all the old films. Karate Kid, I mean, that's the best film ever made. But all the old films, all the new films, literally, you watch half an hour and you think, what is this nonsense? It's either rubbish, crap acting, or woke agenda. So last night we watched Fall Guy. That was boring as hell. Quite a good story plot, but it was so boring. So we're sick of it. And it's no wonder most people now are watching TikTok and YouTube. And I think this is why people, well, those jaws exactly, Tez. This is why people or the government are a bit worried because more people are watching idiots like me just bowling around ranting <laughs> on a Saturday morning <laughs> than they are watching normal TV because it's just nonsense. Uh, yes, the market's on. Good morning, Bonadier. dear. So the market's on, they're all setting up. So I'm going to show you everything setting up. I'll tell you what, we were, I was going to walk across that way there. You can walk all the way across there. There's a, a helicopter pad at the end. I might do that, but I think first of all, I'll show you the market. Hello, good morning, how are you? Let me get my glasses on the sunshine. And nice to see you. I, I'm not usually out on a Saturday. It's Sunday morning live, but I, I ate loads of sweets and crisps yesterday. So I thought I'd better come out for a morning walk. And you get together so I can get you on the camera. Look, who, who have we got? So I'm Max. Max. I'm Steve. And Steve, where are you from? Stafford. From Stafford? That's not far from where I, where I am in Birmingham, is it? Stafford? No, it's not that far, no. Fabulous. What, are you having a good holiday? Yeah. Where First you... time here. Actually. First time? So in the dreams. Oh, it's very posh, that five star. All inclusive, half board. Oh, all inclusive. All inclusive. Uh, do, you have a, posh, do you have access to that posh area? No. No. I don't think you need to upgrade no, to that. No, you'd pay all that extra just to get like a swim up bar that, I don't know. That's it, that's it really. I mean, you've heard my thoughts on swim up bars. I think, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. No, it's great. Fantastic. It's so you're having a good one, aren't you? Yeah. How long are you here for? Till next Thursday. Wow. Oh, Happy nice. days. Well, don't you worry about this weather because I know it looked a bit, well, it was spitting earlier, wasn't it? <laughs> but look, it's blue skies now. Oh, it's now. blue skies. Well, look, let me give you a couple of stickers. Oh, you can have my face on your case. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> you're coming down to see the market. Yeah. You might have to wait, look, because they're just setting up. Setting up aren't they? You're too early. I'm always up early. So am I. Like there you go. <laughs> Lovely to meet you. See you later. Yeah. Bye bye. Yeah. There you go. Look, we're seeing people already. So yeah, I was getting the same. Look, you can walk all the way to the end of there to the helipad. Uh, what gym do you recommend in Player Blanca? Caitlin, garage gym, best gym on the island. So one wants to travel on goes to. Uh, garage gym it's called google it uh, so here we go look we've got all the genuine fakes out look i'll show you some genuine fake bags in a minute we'll get them all faye faye's on good morning faye watch equalizer three <laughs> again old films faye because the new ones are shite oh look we've got some uh, good stuff here buena dia amigo también también what we got here oh look rolex armani Whoa. fantastic fantastic look and then you've got all your trainers here as well. Muy bien, amigo. Gracias. There you go, look. Where is the market? Buena dia. Buena dia. It's a lot of work, isn't it, to set up a market store? Hello, mate. I didn't... You keep moving. You were over there last time. Have you upgraded? Yeah. Or did you just get given a different place every... Exactly. Here we are at different So when you arrive, they say, you're here, you're here, you're here. 
I oh. think this is a good spot. <laughs> look, look at his view, look. Beautiful. Look at his view. The best I am going to come and see you and talk to you yeah, properly. This is Edra Glass. If you haven't seen already, I've done loads of videos with this guy. He does all the uh, sort of glass sculptures, look. Oh, look at this one. Oh, look at that little hummingbird, look. So talented. So he makes these right in front of you here. And uh, he's going to make me a Mr. Travel on something. I don't know what we're going to do yet, but we're going to do something. something. I don't know what. But you have a good day, all right? Yeah. Enjoy yourself. I'm only out for a morning walk because I, yesterday I ate so much. And I thought, I better, I better come and burn some calories off. I'll see you, tomorrow. I'll see you later. Bye. There you go. Look, it's quite nice to come down the market early. I mean, don't get here too early because they're setting up. I think if I was a market store hold, you know, like when you go to a car boot sale. Have you ever done a car boot sale? Um, I don't know if it's the same in England. Um, but here in Lanzarote, there's one car boot sale at the horse riding place. And I've done a couple. And the minute you pull your car up, gee, you're trying to unpack it and everyone's in your business. And, and they're stealing and all sorts. I've seen them do it. Um, I'll never do another one. I never do another one. Now we give all our old stuff to a, a place called Granny's Attic, which is in Playa Blanca. And they're like a charity. <sighs> because I'm a tight git. I thought, oh, come on, we'll get rid of some stuff. We'll do, a, we'll do a boot sale. Well, that would be me on a market stall. If somebody come up and annoyed me while I was trying to set up, I'd be like, will you just clear off? You're too early. The market opens at nine. I don't even know what time it does open. Got some pretty cool T-shirts here, look. Not like my little and, and Aldi T-shirt, if you've seen my video on YouTube yesterday. But these are nice T-shirts. Look, you've got Lanzarote T-shirts. You've got some other ones up there. Look, they're a bit more funky. Nice. Little t-shirt place. Fun idea. Hello, mate. You're right. Mrs. Travelon does t-shirts, by the way, if you want them. www.diversionlanzarotti.com. Again, head over to my YouTube channel. You'll see the 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 Lidl and the Aldi t-shirts that I was wearing yesterday. I'm such a sad old git, ain't I? <laughs> oh, look at these views, look. And the sun's coming out. The sun is coming out. So if you miss anything today while I'm walking around, everything's pre-recorded for YouTube. So I'm going to be on YouTube. It's going to be uploaded on YouTube as well um, a little bit later. Make sure to follow this channel while you're here. If you're new, because I know Sundays we usually get our regulars on, don't we? But Saturdays maybe we've got some new people on. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Mr. Channel, Mr. channel on. <laughs> Welcome to Mr. Travel on. Make sure to follow this channel. And look, blue skies, look. You wouldn't have thought from where we started this morning, where it looked like literally the perfect storm that we'd be studying now with these blue skies. But I do say in the mornings can be cloudy, by the afternoon can clear up. But literally we've been on for about half an hour and it's um, gorgeous. Hope it's warm in October. It should be. Um, October is the best month. September and October are one of the best months to come on holiday. Oh, these guys are all set up, look. Some more genuine fake Rolexes, look. Mm. Happy days. And all your glasses as well, look. All your designer glasses. There we go. Prada, Versace, Ray-Bon. <laughs> Bit of Ray-Bon, look. Look at that. Get all your, all your, all your stuff there. Buena dia, amigo. WM. <laughs> they give me some right evil looks, these uh, dodgy fake sellers. I wonder if they get in trouble if the police come down. I don't think they would, would they? What's the temperature? Dan the man, I have no idea, but it's got to be in its 20s, I would say. Got to be in his 20s today. Highs are 26 today. Thank you, Rufy. So I'm going to walk down the cobbled street area. Look, it's all kicking off here as well. This will be rammed a little bit later. Absolutely rammoed. Um, I'll come back this way and show you. And then I might walk to the helicopter pad. I reckon I've walked off about probably half a bag of sweets at the moment. We've got a long way to go. And then today I can't eat. Well, I don't know. We might be going for dinner later. We were planning on going for dinner and doing a video later. Um, that was the plan until Alfie's uh, throat started playing up yesterday. So... We shall see. Um, if I do go, it's going to be a steak and vegetables, I think. But then if I'm doing a video, you like you lot like to see me 
being naughty, don't you? This is the problem. One of the, one of the, this is a cobbled street, so you've got some beautiful shops here as well. <laughs> Police don't care about counterfeits, it's a customs issue. Really? There you go. Police don't care about much, do they, in the UK, from what I've heard? My mum said she was out in Sutton Coalfield the other day, and somebody walked into the uh, one of the shops, filled their bag up and walked out. And staff did nothing, because well, why should they? They're on, a, they're on minimum wage, you know what I mean? And the staff said, well, we can't do anything because unless you steal over like 200 and something euros or pounds, the police won't even touch you. And if you apologise, then that's it. So, and then she walked into Greg's and someone did the same, just walked in and grabbed their lunch and buggered off. Do you know what? I think if I lived in the UK, I'd be shoplifting. <laughs> you might see me, you might see me on the news. You might see me on the news on my next visit to the UK. Mr. Travel on. Mr. Tra Mr. Travel on, TikTok, Lanzarote, caught shoplifting. I'd have to shoplift something good. I'd have to shop, I wouldn't be shoplifting a bloody Greg's or a Poundland. I'd have to go and shoplift something good. If you've got up to 250 euros, I mean, come on. You could get some good stuff, couldn't you? <laughs> I'm not encouraging shoplifting, by the way. <laughs> uh, they let a lot of them out of jail. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. Koala, ko Kuala Lumpur, Kuala Lumpur. This is quite a good shop, right? When the sales are on. It's not a bad shop, actually. You've got some beautiful little sort of uh, polo shirts and shorts and stuff like that. And a lot of like Hawaiian shirts, if you like that sort of uh, holiday shirt place. You can come in there and get yourself a holiday shirt. You'll be on the next episode of Crime Watch UK. Can you imagine me on Crime Watch? Bloody hell. Do his kids go to school there? Yes, they do. They were born here, mate. They were born here. They went to Spanish school and um, they speak fluent Spanish. Me, I don't really speak fluent Spanish. I can swear in Spanish very well and I can argue in Spanish very well, but that's about as far as I go. In fact, I can speak a lot of Spanish. I just can't understand it. Said this before. Um, I can speak it, but I don't understand it because they, they talk so fast. Well, it's either that they talk so fast when they repeat something in Spanish to you, or the fact that I don't listen, because I don't think I really listen to English people when they talk to me. It depends what they've got to say, really. And we're all miserable, get me. Look at this. So you've got Oasis Marina Bay. They'll be setting up for the day. They have live entertainment on a market day, and they do loads of cocktails, really funky cocktails here, look. All sorts of stuff. And I think you can have sushi and things here. Look at these little birds. <laughs> Look at them little birds. I might do an animal feeding video. I might come down, feed the seagulls, feed the pigeons, feed the fish, and we could also feed the cats as well. What do you reckon? I reckon that would be a good one. Look at this, Buenos Dias from Barcelona. Buenos Dias in Barcelona. Again, another place that I want to visit. I want to get over to mainland Spain. Uh, Jack's part-time from October, so he's got Thursday, Friday, and Saturday off, I think. Thursday, Friday, Saturday. So I'm going to try and get a little bit of traveling with him because he's gone part time. He's working at Rancho Texas, if you don't know. Um, he's left sixth form and he's really, really enjoying it. I mean, he presents the parrot show, the bird of prey show. He's doing tickets, he's doing administration, he's doing photography, he's doing everything. I mean, for me, what an experience for a 16 year old. Um, but he was full-time during the summer and he's done full-time in September. And now he's dropping down to part-time and he says he wants to work with me for the days off. More like he'll have a bloody day off. But he's got his driving, he's got, he's got to start learning to drive and uh, he's a brown belt at karate or Kempo. So I said, look, get your black belt sorted. Um, even if you don't really want to do anything with it, it's always good to say you're a black belt, isn't it? Do you know what I mean? If somebody says to you, I'm a black belt at karate, you're like, Really? I ain't messing with him. Doesn't matter if you're a good black belt or a shit black belt. If you've got a black belt, you're a black belt, isn't you? Like Mr. Miyagi, like Daniel Oruso. So he's gonna do that, but he says he wants to come and do some work with me. So we shall see. We shall see. Lovely little cafe here, look. Natura, that's also owned by the Oasis, look. So they've got quite a few places here. Really nice. And then Barugo's look are just cleaning up, ready for the day. This will be rammed today as well. Barugos is like a tapas um, bar. 
Tapas is like small dishes. So what you tend, well, it's a, it's a Spanish thing, isn't it, tapas? So what you do is you order like small dishes, like you'll have a little dish of prawns, little dish of potatoes, little dish of this, little dish of that. Put it all in the middle and everyone digs in. If you're like me and you don't like sharing food, it's not an ideal situation because somebody always eats more. Depends. When the kids were little, it was good. Because Mrs. Travelon does, doesn't eat much, too much. But now, with my two, stick tapas. Bloody hell, the minute it's down, it's gone. Greedy little gits. So, uh, yeah, tapas is the way forward. And I've said about Chinese buffets as well. Because the Spanish are so used to tapas, what they do when they go to a Chinese buffet is they treat it like that. So they'll go up and get a plate of prawns, a plate of curry, a plate of rice, a plate of this, and they'll put it in the middle and share. And it really, really winds me up. It really winds me up. <laughs> it really does sit there going, it's a goddamn buffet, what are they doing? Because they'll put the prawns out. And you, by the time you've got three Spanish families, the prawns are gone because they've got them right in the middle of the table. And I'm sure they waste them as well. They leave them. You should see the, the, uh, the Chinese people in the restaurants. They're like that. Uh, <laughs> and the duck, they, they go mental for the duck. So do I. <laughs> That's how you beat the buffet, isn't it? You go for the expensive stuff, the duck, the prawns, and all the good stuff. That would wind me up as well. Johnny, I'll tell you what, me and you would be sitting in that buffet, just angry. <laughs> Doesn't take a lot to get me angry. So this is Lani's, look. This is the Lani's grill. It's nice to come down here this early when there's nobody around, look, because well, usually there's people eating dinner. But well, look at the views here, look. Absolute gorgeous views here, look. Beautiful. Look at that. And you can sit in the grill. Hello. Mr. Miss, how are you? Happy see you day, well, you're lucky to see me on a Saturday morning. <laughs> Get together. Who have we got here? This is my little girl, Jill. Not Hello, little. Jill. How old are you? Almost 11, bloody hell. Looking forward to the market. We've never been to the market. Have you come down to the now? market? Yeah. Are we going in the right direction? Yeah, just behind me, yeah. Where you, Where have you come from? Cork. From Cork? Southern yeah. Ireland, yeah. Wow, fantastic. Where are you stopping? We're staying in the Relaxia Lanzor. That's in there. Uh... Play Blanca here. Oh, the la yes, yeah, the one with the water park. Yeah. I bet you're having the time of your life in there, aren't you? Yeah. Aren't we? So you've got access to a full water park every day? Every single day. Are you all inclusive, self catering, half board? We're all inclusive. Yeah. Oh yeah. my God. Yes. What a holiday. We're having so, the best time. All inclusive with a water park yes. every single day that every you want. Day, How many people? Just the two of you. And dad is here and her brother. So four four of you. Yeah. Really wow. good value. Go on, tell me would, how much. Would highly recommend How it. much? Four nights, yeah. all in, 9.34. Wow. Wow, 9.34 for four nights? Yeah, for four nights, all our drinks, all our food, the entry to the water park every day. You can have your food in the water park. You don't have to come back. Wow, that sounds amazing. It is really So that's value. like a long weekend then, isn't it? It's like a really decent So what weekend. did you do, Thursday to? And we flew in on Thursday morning. So we're Thursday until Monday afternoon. Thursday till Monday. we moved to Port del Carmen oh. and for five nights. Oh, really? So yeah. you're, you're double whammy in it? Doing a double this year. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. So you haven't just come here for four nights then? No, we're here for nine. Oh, for four. happy days. Well, there you go. There you go. Well, look, I'm going to give you my famous stickers, look. Oh, look at My that. face on your case. Say hello to everyone. You're live hello on TikTok. Everybody. You're going on YouTube a little bit later on. Oh, Enjoy the rest of your holiday. Thanks a million. See you later. Bye. You'll be on later, all right? Okay. See you soon. Bye. Lovely people, look. From Cork. I thought they'd just done a four-day four holiday then. I thought they'd only done four, four days, but... Um, so they're going doing here and then heading up to Porto del Carmen. A lot of people are doing that these days. Uh, I met Stestiny and her other half yesterday. I've met them before and they were doing, I can't even remember, seven days in a villa and then going to the Barcelo Playa Blanca as well. Um, now have any good doctors in Costa de Guise? Yeah, there's a medical centre called Huami. Um, it's the big medical centre. It's like a full-on hospital in Costa de Guise. That's, yeah, that's the best one to go to. Don't go to the bloody public one. Well, no, the public hospitals are good. Don't get me wrong. The um, the doctors are, are, the, and the medical here in Lanzarote is good, but we've got private medical insurance. It costs us about 190, 190 a month for four of us, but it's one of them things that you sort of pay, but you don't pay. And then we go to a doctor called Dr. Sophia in Playa Blanca, because um, it's really easy. You just go down with your card, boom but she's moving surgery. So yesterday she was uh, full. So Mrs. Traveland had to go to the public hospital and three hours, throat infection, 
And they said, no, it's not an infection, here's some paracetamol. <laughs> I suppose, I mean, they did test everything, so, but I'm sure we're going to be back up somewhere getting some uh, antibiotics by Monday. Um, 10 euros for chicken with chips, that's not bad, is it? Big roasted chicken here. And then this place opens quite early, so this is the Lani snack bar. So you can get like a little snack here. Buenos dias. Sorry, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Busy day today. Yes, come on. Energy, cafe. Lots of caffeine. <laughs> See you later. So they're ready for their busy day. The busy day. Hopefully coming over in February. Any recommendations from Ireland? Lulu, if you're coming over in February, it's going to be good. And uh, all the excursions are on our website, www.travelon.world. Use the code TTK, get yourself a cheeky little discount. Mr. Travel on the look after you. So we're sort of back in this way now. This way will take you to La Salle and you can see the uh, big bar cello. Hello, good morning, you all right? Morning, I didn't expect to see anybody today on a Saturday. Not usually out and about on a Saturday. We just turned around and said, oh, we won't be around today. We no, Sundays I'm usually live. And, mm. Sorry. I'm so tall. There you go. Well, there you go. Everyone says that. Do I look small on the camera? Do I? You do. You do. I thought the camera. I thought the. I thought the camera added added things. No, no. You just look very tall. Well, there you go. Get together. Who we got? So I'm. Lynn. Get together. This is Paul. Lynn and Paul. Where are you from? Um, South Wales. South Wales. Yeah. Fantastic. Right, right, right by the Bracken Beacons. Oh, is it um, nice down there? I like Wales. It's lovely, but it rains. Well, wow. there you go. It's probably <laughs> raining. Now. Well, to be honest, this morning I started well early. It was spitting. Um, You've missed it now, though. You're all right. Yeah, You're all right. We did have a little bit of yeah. spitting yesterday. Yeah, yeah, well. yeah. But yeah. well, it's yeah. all right now. Look, blue skies. Where are you stopping? Oh, oh, look, they're stopping at that big bloody hotel over there. It's, a big bloody hotel. it's massive, yeah. isn't it? Are you in the royal level? Of course. Of course. <laughs> Do you have a swim up pool? Uh, pool? No, no, we don't. No, you didn't have the pool? We have the very top floor. The top floor. Oh, happy days. Yeah. So, come on, is it nice? Beautiful. Yeah? You're loving yeah. it? It's, I mean, the minute you walk in reception, it's gorgeous, isn't it? We came. Um, Everybody's so friendly. The service yeah. is great. Yeah. We I think went to the uh, Vulcan before. Oh, yeah, that's. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That entrance. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fantastic. And then we kept walking past watching them build it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they had the little. Yeah. We thought it was a garage. Yeah, I know. So did I. Yeah, yeah. Oh, so you're having a good time then? Great, yeah. Fantastic. I think in the summer they were really busy and quite short staffed, but is it all right now? It's fabulous. Yeah. It's fabulous. Brilliant. We haven't had a. Food good? Beautiful. Oh, there you Beautiful. go, Beautiful. look, we, see. We have the a la carte. Yeah. It's absolutely oh, stunning. Happy days. Yeah, well, look, I'm going to give you a couple of my stickers, look. My <laughs> face on your case. You're going to be on YouTube in a bit when I get back. <laughs> nice to meet you. Drink. See you later. Have a good I'll time. One. Oh, one. <laughs> she give me a kiss, look, on a Saturday morning. See you later, my lovely. <laughs> Enjoy the rest of your day. Don't spend too much bloody money at that market. Look, I can I can see him panicking already. She'll have she'll buy everything. See you later. <laughs> Staying at Vista Lobos. Any reviews? Eh, no, I've not done that. So there is the Barcelo. Absolutely massive. In fact, there's a good view of it over there. Oh, I said I'd do the heliport. You'll be able to see a view of that over there. Uh, so let's walk this way. Ah. Oh. She was chuff, weren't she, Mark? Bless. <laughs> it does make me laugh that people say, oh, we've been looking for you all week. It, it's crazy. I've created a monster. But like I said in all the videos, everyone watches the videos back and goes, oh, my God, Dave, you know, everyone knows who you are. It's Lanzarote. And, well, I know how to manipulate Google and the algorithms. So if you come into Lanzarote, the chances are you're going to see my videos. <laughs> so that's why people know me. But Lanzarote is a tiny little place that is visited by hundreds and thousands of people every single day. Um, so of course, a lot of people are like, we've seen your videos. Um, I think if I was in England just doing travel videos or something, nobody would know who I was. But that's the plan, to get out and about and do some more places. Where do you want me to go? Where would you like me to go? Would you follow me if I travelled anywhere out of Lanzarote? Or are you only interested in Lanzarote? Because sometimes I do videos. In saying that, when I went to Dublin, those videos did very well. They got loads of views. But then I've got quite a few um, followers in Dublin. I think out of my, or if you look at the analytics, most of my followers um, are from England, England and, and, and that area. But out of all of my followers, I think 50% are from Ireland and 50% of them, or 80% of them are from Dublin. <laughs> 
So it's uh, it's really weird. Tenerife. I'm I'm heading over to Tenerife soon. I love Tenerife. It's my favourite place. Northern Ireland here. Good morning, Northern Ireland. Coming to Cambridge and travel on the longest busy busy way in the world. Come to Cambridge and travel. Oh, okay, Cambridge. Yeah, I might do some UK visits. Look at this. So I did a video here the other week of a pool party. Uh, there was a phone party here, great place, and they do a brunch. So if you're staying in a place without a pool, you can come down here and you can have brunch. I think if you pay a certain amount for the brunch, you get to use the big sunbeds there um, and you get all sorts. There's like a special offer on. So come down here, you can use the pool. Beautiful. Good morning, how are you? You all right? Where are you two off to? What well, need I ask the market? Get together so I can get you my, my little video here. Where are you? Where are you from? Belfast. From oh, Belfast. Northern Ireland. Fantastic. I just said hello to somebody from Northern Ireland. How, I just said hello, Northern Ireland, and then there you go. We found somebody else from Northern Ireland. We were here in May. And we met you then. We met Did you? you? We got met a you. sticker. Did you get a sticker? Yeah. Yes. We met you at the last Roddy Spoon. You did? Yeah. Were you on YouTube? Yeah. Well, look, you're going to be on YouTube for a second time. Remind me of your names. Kevin and Maggie. Maggie. Kevin and Maggie. And where are you stopping this time? Princess Yeiza. Oh, five star Princess yeah. Yeiza. Yeah. Uh -huh. That's super posh. Where did you stop last time? Same. No, so you're back again. You're back again for more. Uh -huh. yeah. Any changes or is it still as beautiful as it well, is? They're, they're doing some of the rooms. It's a bit tired. Some of them some be of the I say it's a little bit old fashioned. Yeah. Um, yeah. Some of the rooms. I remember when me and Mrs. Travel on went, it was like, it's a beautiful room, but it is. But then do you really, do you want that modern feel there? I call that place old money. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, you get that sort yeah. of old money feel, yeah. don't you? Like yeah. a, but there's a lovely hotel. Yeah, it's beautiful. The wood in it is superb. The staircase is Oh yeah, it's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah. Well, there you go. We shall see. Maybe I'll get into one of the new rooms. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah. Do, do you need any more stickers? Are you all right? Go on, look. You may as well have another one. You can put them on your new cases. I'll see you later. Lovely to see you again. See you later. Bye, bye. There you go, look. So I better not run out of stickers. Mrs. Travelon's going to go mad. I've got a Sunday morning live to do tomorrow as well. I'm doing an extra live here. <laughs> She's going to kick off. I think what I'll do is I won't go the market way. I'll go this way, look. Um, is Lanzarote hilly? Is there one resort that is flatter? Uh, the flattest resort is here, look, in Playa Blanca. This is the flattest resort. Not many hills at all in Playa Blanca. Puerto del Carmen, quite hilly. Costa de Guise, medium, but Porta del Carmen, a lot of the apartments are sort of set back from the main strip. Um, oh, I can't go that way, they've locked it up. We'll have to go right through the thick of it. Hopefully I don't run out of stickers. So yeah, there you go. Porta del Carmen's the hilliest. Uh, come back to Brum and travel, and travel the spaghetti junction. No thanks. No thanks. I must do a video on uh, car hire though. Car hire here isn't too bad because um, it's quite easy to uh, to drive around. Tenerife's a bit of a nightmare to hire a car. Um, I certainly, well, I always have to hire a car when I go over there or take my own car um, if I get the boat from, from Fuerteventura, which is what I might do this time. Save me having to hire a car. Um, but driving around there, it's quite... It's a busy old place. Parking is absolutely ridiculous. And the underground car parks, if you can find one that's got spaces, well, they're like literally, I mean, I'm, I'm a crap parker as it, as it is, but you go down there, you, you, you're literally sort of wedged in. You have to do like a 36 point turn just to get out of everywhere. So I certainly wouldn't recommend hiring a car if you're in Tenerife. Absolute nightmare. And then driving up um, Mount Tady as well. It's hilly and bendy and, well, I drive over here, but even I was a bit worried about popping off the edge. <laughs> Get a bus tour up there and do it with a professional. Uh, but I will be doing a video soon on car hire in general. So let's see what that is. This is beautiful, look. These are getting ready for the day. This has a gorgeous terrace here, look. And you can sit there how clear the water is down there, look. And just look out over the whole of Marina Rubicon. Beautiful, eh? Absolutely gorgeous. It's so funny, that mountain, I know. I drove up Tady and, well, 
A lot of people drive up there to see the sunset. I certainly wouldn't recommend that because once the sun goes down, it's dark, and then you've got to drive back down Mount Tady in the, in, in the dark. And that, that was an experience. I mean, I would do it because I'm used to driving, but it's, uh, it's not an easy drive, trust me. Um, good morning, how are you? You all right? Good. You're wandering around the old market today. You come yeah. to spend some money? No, not yet. Who we got? What's your name? I'm Craig. Craig, get get in here. Come on. Craig and Tracy, yeah? yeah. yeah. Get together. Get together. I need you together. Look, where are you from? From Edinburgh. From Edinburgh. Yeah. Are you having a good holiday? Yeah. Where are you stopping? Uh, the bar trailer this year. You're another one. I've just met somebody else. Come on then. Give me a verdict. Yeah. Lovely. Yeah. Are you in the royal level? No. No, no you're in the no. normal level. No. Yeah. Well, I'm going to be in that level soon because they're giving me a free night, believe it or not. Oh, I, I thought you. they were just going to give me a free day. That's why I've not yeah. done many videos since the... I watched it all being built, oh, and, and then, so we, we, we yeah, one, that's here. it. And then I did a video of the rooms when it first mm -hmm. opened, and then I thought, I'll leave them alone because it's their first summer. I don't want to go in there and keep <laughs> doing videos. But loads of people are like messaging me saying, come and see a room. So I dropped them an email and said, come on. And they said, they said I could have a day pass there. And then they said, oh, why don't you come and stop the night on in October? So that's to come. <laughs> Nice river. Sea view. Oh, happy Quite days. Welcome, happy days. Well, there you go. That's what you need, isn't it? This is for seeing the daughters here. So you have to do your call. There you go. To, to Rachel. Where is she? She's back home now. She's oh. First time she's not here. So it's the first time you've come away without her? How old is she now? She's... she's 20 in May. 20 in May, bloody hell, there you go. So she was here in March. Was so she? That's same. cheaper for you two then, yeah. isn't it? Happy days. We'll, talking about. we'll say hello to her, look. Yeah. She might be watching on TikTok. If not, she'll be on... Oh, she will be watching. Well, there you go. If not, you're on YouTube anyway, so you'll be on YouTube oh, a little yeah, bit later watching. on. So give her a wave. <laughs> here you go i'll give you a couple of stickers i'll tell you what i'll give you one for rachel as well there you go my face on your case see you later have a good day see you soon bye bye oh look we've got lanzarote camels here look there's the old lanzarote camels um there is a video popping around of somebody falling off a camel i was going to cover it but i like to do nice things about Lanzarote. Do I agree with the camels? Mm, possibly not. It's not my favourite thing. You don't have to do them. It is an option um, when you go on the tours. Um, so if you're not into that, don't do it. It is an, it's a lovely experience to ride a camel. I'm 50-50 I'm on whether I agree with them or not. I think they're kept well nice. They, they sort of do they do it in shifts and they sort of swap over and stuff like that. Uh, but there is a video bobbing around of someone falling off one. But I ain't going to cover it on the uh, on the channel because I've got to keep it positive, haven't I? The smell here, I tell you what, this is definitely a genuine leather with a little bit of an Armani twist look. But the smell of the leather is fantastic. Oh, smells so good. Real leather. Look at that. And then you've got these, look. Everyone's wearing these with the little wasp on. Fantastic. Brilliant. Get in there. You want to say hello? No. <laughs> I'll see you later. Mm, smells nice. Smells like leather. <laughs> see you later. <laughs> You've got some nice clothes shops here, look. Little handmade sort of uh, kids woolly stuff. That's, they're nice for the kids, aren't they, look? Well, I don't know whether they're handmade or factory made. Probably factory made. Hola. Get your Lanzarote tea towels here as well. We may as well walk through here, don't we? Uh, is the market expensive? Um, what do you mean, expensive to buy stuff or expensive to get here? It's free to get here? Well, it's not actually. If you're in Porto del Carmen and Costa de Guiz, you can jump on our website and you can book a bus. I think it's about 15 to 20 euros return, but it will bring you down, give you a good day in Playa Blanca and drop you back. If you're in Playa Blanca, it's free to come down here. Price-wise, not really. Um, it's quite a cheap market. I mean, markets are cheap anyway, aren't they? Depends what you buy. Some things are quite expensive, but really does depend what you buy. I keep threatening to start a market store. Um, oh, look, reusable foldable vases. Two vases for a fiver. Look at these. So these are like vases that you can reuse. Buena dia. Oh, look. So they're like, um, they're like plastic, like little reusable vases. There you go. She was happy. Can you imagine Mr. Travel on with a market store there? I'd be shouting. I'd get everyone going. Um, it's a total different sort of 
it's a total different sort of type of person in Lanzarote. Now, Tenerife, I can imagine if you go to a Tenerife market, maybe you get your hustlers there, you know, you're sort of, come on, buy this, buy that. That would be me. I'd be like Del Boy. Uh, Jack would be Rodney. <laughs> He's tall and lanky as well. And I'd be selling like a, like a maniac. I'd have a queue of people. I'd be entertaining. I'd be demoing things here. They barely smile, some of them. You do get your occasional sort of market stall holders that are really nice, like Edu Glass. I mean, he's brilliant. You know, he's such a friendly person. Uh, but some of them just sort of give you the side eye. And you wonder why they're in this business. There's even more. Look around here. You've got a little terrace bar there. One of the, uh, they're selling clothes, look there. And there's some handmade stuff here as well. But there's some late people setting up, look. These are good, these little speakers. There's some more genuine fakes, look. And you've got some nice canary and stuff. <laughs> yeah. What, they're genuine fake? They're genuine fake, look, come on, look. Oh! <laughs> they're good, you have any Rolex? No, I'm going to have a Rolex. Oh, you do look there? <laughs> See you later. <laughs> He's got some Rolex. Do you recommend going all-inclusive and more expensive to eat out in restaurants? Oh, good question. Uh, all-inclusive if you've got kids. Let me just tell you this bit. So um, this is Jungle Vibes. Look, these will be open a little bit later. Ready to go. Um, and they're right in the heart of the market. Should you go all-inclusive, self-catering, half-board, or... Uh, I've said self-catering, haven't I? <laughs> <laughs> if you've got kids, for me, all-inclusive is the best. Why? Because kids are a nightmare. You'll go to a restaurant and order something, they won't eat it. Um, they want ice cream, drinks and shite all day long, um, which is going to cost money. So all-inclusive is perfect for them. If that's what you want to do, if you want to spend sort of most of the time in the hotel, um, enjoy yourself, relax, let the kids go and get burgers, chips, whatever, eat and drink themselves stupid. That's an ideal solution for kids. Um, if you're a couple, well, self catering is always good if you want to save yourself some money because I'm a tight git and I don't mind cooking a bit of pasta for lunch <laughs> and a little bit of a a little bit of a sandwich for lunch and just grab some bread and whack it, whack some ham in it. Um, that's a cheap cheap option. And then just go out for your evening meal and that and budget for that. A couple would probably for an evening meal fifty. Hello again, you're right, fifty to sort of. 70 euros depending on how much you drink and stuff um half board is not bad because you get your breakfast and your evening meal um and that if you don't drink alcohol is a good option but sometimes half board can be just as expensive as all inclusive so you may as well upgrade to all inclusive um because you can drink a lot of diet coke can't you on your holidays so uh it, it, yeah, it really does depend on the difference in prices between half board or inclusive. Cheapest is always going to be self catering. Um, for me, I'm tight as hell. I'm happy with self catering. When we had the kids, we always sort of tried to book all inclusive in the hotels, literally because it would really annoy me to go out and spend like 15 euros on a meal for Alfie for him to like lick the fork and say, I don't like it. Mm. And for me also, for me also, I can't stand restaurants. Although I do lots of restaurant reviews, I cannot stand eating out. Um, I get restless. I can't sit for five minutes. I like a buffet, but this is why this, cha this channel has helped us go out more as a family because I have to go out. But I'm happy going out and making videos for you lot in restaurants because it keeps me entertained and I've got something to do. I can't sit down for two minutes. And another thing about eating out, is I can't make a decision either. So I spend, I spend most of the holiday looking for places to eat, you know what I mean? And I'm not a foodie, so I'm not into the fine wine and, and the food. So for me, it's just a complete waste. I prefer to eat in the hotel, know, know me foods there, buffet style, up and down, boom, boom, done. So there you go, Mr. Travelon's opinion on whether to go all inclusive, half board or self catering. Been trying to see if, if I would see you. We're at the Barcelo Play Blanco. I want your face on our case. Jonathan, you gotta get your ass down here if you want that. <laughs> I was very close a minute ago. 
I was up the other end. So this is a lovely walk look along here. Not only do you get sea views, and you can see the clouds are shifting, although it's a little bit dark over there, isn't it? But Fortaventura is looking a little bit sunnier over there, look, from this morning when we started. And uh, right at the end of here is a helipad, and you get some beautiful views over Playa Blanca from up there. Craig Deegan Scam. What are you on about, Craig? Uh, what's a scam, Craig? <laughs> Stevie D. So if you just joined us, welcome to Mr. Travel On on a Saturday, Saturday morning, eh? I usually do lives on a Saturday, on a Sunday morning, nine o'clock, religiously. I'm here at nine o'clock every Sunday doing a live. I'm not sure where I'm gonna go tomorrow now. Um, but like I said, I ate so much shite this week. And last night I thought I'll get up and do a little walk around this morning. And I thought I may as well take you lot with me. <sighs> Where are you today? I'm in Marina Rubicon. What are you? Uh, uh, uh. My mum and daughter have just set sail on Catlands. Oh, I hope they have a fantastic day. Uh, just home after six weeks. Windy, not windy today, no. I haven't even got my microphone on the phone. I've got my microphone on for YouTube, but I haven't got my microphone on the phone, so it's not windy at all. Um, oh, is it, is it windy? That's because I haven't got my bloody microphones, honey G. Honey Joe, is it windy? Can't hear the wind. Can you hear the wind? Can you say happy birthday to my husband? Happy birthday, husband. Oh, there you go, Rufy. It might get a little bit windy now as we head up this way. I don't know why I'm covering this microphone. That one's connected to the bloody uh, thing. Can't hear for the wind, okay. We can't hear you properly. Right, okay, I'm getting out. I'm getting out of here then. I think there's some little steps there. Is there some little steps there? Let me just put my glasses on so I can see. Right, I'm going to dive this way then, just quickly. This is why I should have had my thingy on. Usually I've got my microphone on there. Uh, it's not, it doesn't even feel that windy to me. That's really weird. We fly out tomorrow, our first time in Lanzarote. Go to the Liver Vulcan in four weeks, brilliant. I'm trying to keep you down here so the wind, I think I was heading right into the wind there. Shall I walk backwards? <laughs> oh, hang on. Just got to do something on here. There we go. Right, uh, let's have a little look here. I think there's some steps down here I can get out of here. Like I said, usually I have two microphones. I have the microphone here, which is for YouTube, look, and it's got one of them fluffy things on. Um, so YouTube won't have a problem. And then I have another mic for, for the phone, but I didn't put that on this morning because I thought it's not windy. But it's probably because I was heading I was heading straight on to the wind. Yeah, the wind is there. So it's obviously picking up the microphone at the front. Uh, pedal boats on the uh, Playa Dorada beach. Nicole, pedal, pedalo boats is on the Playa Dorada beach. I think they have them there. They used to. That's the only place you're gonna find anything like that. Uh, right, I can see some steps here so I can get out of here. Any tips for a nervous flyer? It's my first time. Um, well, if you hit turbulence, just remember it's like being on a bumpy road. That's what I tell myself, and I'm a nervous flyer, believe it or not. I can't stand flying. Um, but you just gotta, just gotta suck it up. <laughs> Take some deep breaths, don't worry about it. Um, like I said, you know, it's... Uh, the turbulence is like being on a bumpy road. If you were on the motorway and it suddenly got bumpy, that's all that. That's all it is. That's what I do. And uh, just breathe. I'm hoping these steps are going to get me the hell out of here. <laughs> I don't really fancy walking all the way back. Well, there is some steps here that will get me off this place. I might have to climb over or go under. Oh my gosh. Oh, we are. Look. There we go. Hola. There we go. Look. I'm out, I'm out, we can get down here. It's not windy down here. So I was gonna take you all the way over to the helipad. But if it's too windy, I'm not gonna. But the helipad is all the way over there, look. And you get some nice views. Um, should we try? Too windy, we can't hear you. Is that better now with the wind? Tell me if that's better now. If it's not, I shall do one. American Indian Cafe in PDC is brilliant. Surely you can't hear the wind now. 
There you go. God, note to self, wear the, wear the special microphones. I don't usually have a problem. There you go. It was just because I was up there. I was a little bit higher up, I think. It's a beautiful boat here, look. Gorgeous big catamarans. These catamarans take 12 people, believe it or not. They look quite big, don't they? And there's some views. Look, I'm not going to go too much further. You can see the big barcello there. You can see one of the catamarans going out to sea. You can see the princess eyes are over there. You get a gorgeous view of Playa Blanca. Go back over to the market. I think I will. I'm going to go over back over to the market. Look. I heard a little dog. There's a little dog over there. Ruthie loves a bit of a dog. Maybe I'll go over there. No, the dog might bite me. <laughs> right, come on, let's go this way. Look, with the wind behind me, so you're not going to get. I'm not going to get you lot moaning. Right, do you want me to go back to the market? I'm, I'm walking back in a minute anyway. I'm finishing in a minute anyway. I've got to walk back to the car. It's going to take me a good 20 minutes. Do you want to see the views that way, or do you want me to head back to the market? Comment views or market. If you want the views, I'll go walk to the end and then walk back. If you just want me to head back, just put market. Go find your sticker on the lamp. <laughs> views. Let's have a look. Oh, oh, oh it's 50-50. It's 50-50. Remember, with views comes a little bit of wind. Here we go, look. Mm, right, it's 50-50. I mean, it's only there, isn't it? Come on, we'll just bob up. Let me sort of put the camera that way, look. I should walk backwards, shouldn't I? And you might not uh, get it. <laughs> Come on, it's only there. It's only there. And then you'll be rocking and rolling. You can see a couple of boats on the way. Might see this little dog. I do like a little dog that lives on a boat. They've got the best dog life in the world. Jesus Christ, that is not a little dog. That is like a huge, huge animal. I am not going anywhere near that. Jesus Christ. Hopefully it's tied up. Because if that comes anywhere near me, I'm running. Massive. <laughs> <laughs> right come on and then on the way back you should don't show fear sod off Rufy sod off bloody dogs uh, are you going to go in Porto del Carmen I'm going to be live tomorrow I'm not sure where from I don't think it's going to be Porto del Carmen because I've done two Porto del Carmens haven't I yeah <sighs> Right, now the wind's going to kick in, look. I can feel the wind. But we're rocking, we're rocking. Let's get to the bloody helipad. Stupid idea this was, wasn't it? And then I can walk back that way, actually. Uh, all the way along there. And show you, because uh, the wind will be behind me. Is it... Sa <laughs> it's Saturday, I got confused. I like to play with your minds. I said this morning when I started, this is like when they put the clocks back and they mess with your brains and you think it's a stupid time, or they, uh, or it's a bank holiday, and you're like, what day is it today? It's me just messing with you, with a little impromptu Saturday morning live. So, there is the big Barcelo Playa Blanca Hotel. Look at it, absolutely stunning. I'm zooming in on YouTube. Look at that, absolutely fantastic. That's the massive hotel. Don't worry about it if you can't hear me. I'm showing you the views. You can watch it on YouTube later because it's really windy here. There you go, look, there's the big Barcelo Playa Blanca Hotel. And there is some gorgeous views of Playa Blanca. You can literally see all of Playa Blanca there. Montaña Roca, Princess Yaiza, Dreams, and the Barcelo. There you go. Right, let's get up here, right there. You put you down here while I climb up. up. Oh. Let's get up here, look. And we'll walk back with no wind. You can let me know if the wind's too much. Look at that, absolutely gorgeous. And there's a helicopter pad just at the end. It's well worth coming down if you want a little bit of a walk. Uh, you could actually walk straight off the edge, look. 
and there. So we should be heading back this way now. Tell me if the wind is bad now because the wind is behind me. I can feel it on my back. So tell me if the wind's bad. Careful. <laughs> oh no. I'm not a big fan of heights either. Yeah, let me know if you can hear me all right. Rufy said it's okay. Cool. There you go. Just got myself another 30 minutes. <laughs> so come on. Let's walk this way. Look, we'll go back up here. Um, I'm heading back towards the market and then back towards the bloody car, I think. Is Mrs. Travel on, on this morning? Is Mrs. Travel on, on this morning? I haven't seen her. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, if you want to book any boat trips, look, they usually go from Porto del Carmen and Porto Calero. This is Marina Rubicon. There are a few boat trips that go from here, uh, but it's on our website, www.travelon.world. I bet she doesn't even know that I'm on live, old Mrs. Travelon. She was snoring when I left. <laughs> well, she wasn't. She was still asleep. Jack was still asleep and Alfie was up playing his PlayStation. So they're not expecting me to be uh, walking. She's probably messaged me and said, where are you? Well, she only has to log on to TikTok, doesn't she? Mrs. Travelon is spending your money in the market. I bloody hope not, Peter. I bloody hope not. Beautiful views here, though. Definitely worth coming up and just walking this little thing. Don't know what it's called. I mean, it's not really a walkway, is it? Uh, just woke up in Tahiti and realised it, it rained last night. Don't think it rained down this end, Philippe. Maybe it rained up your end over the night time. I mean, look, the clouds are here and it was spitting this morning, but... Where's Arabella's? It's just over there, Lewis, but it's actually called Jungle Vibes now. They changed their name. Same owners, same everything, same food, same chef, same, same, same the lot. But they changed their name to Jungle Vibes. Just so you know. Did I pass them steps? Oh, shit, I could have gone that way, couldn't I? Oh, well, we've got to walk all the way to the end now. So these two down here, look, having a little jog to the helipad. Hey, yeah, there they go, look. Oh, they, no, they could be arsed with running me. Run when I'm chased. That is my, uh, my thing. Run when I'm chased. Where are you today? I only just joined you. Jackie, I am in Marina Rubicon, a player blanket today, looking at these beautiful views over to Fuerteventura on a bit of a sort of cloudy day, but it's still red hot. Um, the sun is shining. It's got to be 20, 20, it's got to be about 23, 24 degrees, maybe 23. Reaching highs of 26 today, according to Nicola. Um, Lani's do beautiful food there. They do indeed, Joanne. Rufy said it's 23. There you go. Uh, wish we were still here. Get yourself booked back on. Come on. Get back over. Look at them views. Look at them views. Absolutely gorgeous. And I'm hoping this Saturday morning walk for me gets me back on track to eating properly. If, you have, if you've just joined me, I usually go live on a Sunday morning. So if you want to see Lanzarote or wherever I am on a Sunday, every morning, nine o'clock, I go live. Um, get lots of people and we get over a thousand people watching on a Sunday morning while they're lying in bed, having a little lie-in. It's the way forward. Uh, but today I got up and did a Saturday one because I ate shite last night. And to be honest, I've ate crap all week. Not too bad, but I've certainly failed on my low carb diet this week. So I'm out and I'm walking. I thought I'd be able to walk it off a bit. Uh, currently 23 with highs of 27 today. Thank you, Nicola. Uh, flight's gone so expensive from Ireland. Yeah, I've heard that, Tess. I've heard that, but then Irish flights are always bloody expensive, no? That's why I always, uh, well, Ireland's expensive. When I went to Dublin, I couldn't believe the prices. Or is it just Dublin that's expensive? There you go, look, beautiful views there. Someone said they'd be staying at Dreams. That's literally just over there. I think you can see it from here. Yeah, you can, it's just over there. You can come down to the market on a Saturday and a Wednesday. It should be in full flow now. Uh, how long are you there until? Um, who, me, Holly? I live here. I'm here permanently. <sighs> Ireland is expensive, yeah. 
I think flights in general have gone, yeah, have gone through the roof. Travel in general has gone through the roof. It's a lot more expensive than uh, it used to be pre-COVID. But then everything's gone up in price, isn't it? And they don't want you, they don't want you spending, to, they don't want you spending, they don't want you leaving, they don't want you traveling. The powers to be want you staying where you are and spending your money where you live so that they can spend it on stupid things and other people that don't live there. But there's another Saturday morning rant. You just keep, keep putting money in their pocket so that they can send it somewhere else or send it somewhere else or give it to other people that have contributed nothing. Seems to be the way of the world. And wouldn't it be nice to be a politician and get free concert tickets when everyone's scanting around to try and get concert tickets? I mean, Alfie likes, um, I don't even know the name of them, but they were, they were, they were advertised. Um, I can't remember the name of the band now. No, completely gone. But anyway, it, they were in Madrid and I looked at tickets. It cost like 900 to 1,000 euros to go and see a band. Um, so I ain't paying that. But if you're a politician and you earn a load of money, well, you get it free. Absolute joke. Absolute joke. Coldplay. No, it wasn't Coldplay. Uh, Mrs. Travelon's going to see um, Ed Sheeran. Her tickets weren't that bad. Oh, Imagine Dragons. That's who it was. They're over in uh, Barcelona and Madrid. It's all sold out. It all sold out straight away, but you were talking like three, four hundred euros a ticket. Sod off. Absolute no chance. So, market's in full swing now. There should be quite a few people around here. Do you know why there isn't any, isn't a bus in Kamada anymore? No idea, Holly. I didn't know there was a bus in Kamada. Right. So there you go, market's all set up. I'm heading this way up these horrible steps because I am getting knackered now. Oh, I can feel the sweets burning off. All that sugar, all them calories, all them carbohydrates burning away. Come on, we're up here, beautiful place up here. So if you do come down to uh, Marina Rubicon, do come upstairs to have a little look. You've got a lovely bar. Uh, called the flagship and he got a lovely little italian restaurant here look and a lovely little square and we're right by the vulcan hotel the five star vulcan gorgeous look beautiful place might get a little bit windy now as we head up here so i might be saying goodbye to you in a bit let me know <laughs> bango's a no carb diet then yeah lindy i screwed off this week hello mate all right i screwed up this week big time Big time. That's why I'm walking today. Double whammy this weekend. A double live. One on a Saturday and one on a Sunday. Oh. No, you don't deserve sweets. This is the mentality. My mentality as well. I'm not slagging anybody off. But this is the mentality. Oh. Morning, you're all right. Hello, you're all right. Yeah, good Thanks thing. For you. Here. Have you? Fantastic. Get in here. I need to say hello to you. <laughs> Come on. I need to get you on camera. Get in. Get together. Get together. Oh, let me zoom out. There you go. Had it zoomed in. How are you? Yeah, really good. Really Where good. are you stopping? At the Barcelo. Oh, another we, one. We watched you like film. Yeah, I did the lot. A lot of the yeah. So we thought we'd give it a try. Is it good? Yeah, Amazing. really good. Yeah, it's brand new. So it's only their first summer, really. Yeah. So there might be some teething problems. But what? Which? Which area? Are you in the raw level no. or normal? So you're normal. Yeah, yeah. We are. Our room is right, really close. Well, I'm, I'm spending the night there soon. Oh, we love it. We're only bed and breakfast, so we couldn't Brilliant. talk about dinner or anything. But yeah, we like to eat. Happy out. days. Amazing. Happy yeah. days. Well, look, here's a couple of stickers. Oh, look. Lovely. Yeah, my face on your case. Say hello to everyone. You can be on YouTube a little bit later on today. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> See you soon. Though. Fantastic. Lovely to meet you. Bye, bye. Uh, right, which way am I going? Which way am I going? I'm going up this way, I think. Uh, right, what was I saying then? <laughs> yeah, the mentality of their people, and me, is the treats, isn't it? It's like, oh, I'll treat myself to some poison. <laughs> this is what we've all been brainwashed into, isn't it? It's, you know, 
uh, my mate Eddie Abu, who says eat real food, he's absolutely correct. We've all been, we've all been brainwashed into thinking chocolate, sweets, crisps is a treat. And it's something we should, you know, have to um, celebrate, to congratulate ourselves. Now I ate brilliantly last week and I felt superb. I ate real food, I ate nothing out of a packet. Uh, eggs, meat, fish, vegetables, I felt amazing. This week, I felt like shite. And yesterday, I thought, oh, I'll treat myself to basic poison, sugar, and things that is not actually food. So we've been brainwashed to hell, haven't we? We need to try, hello. Good morning, how are you? Get in here. Get in here, not here, there. <laughs> Get in there, who we got, look. Say hello, hello. give us a wave. Hi. Who we got, what's your name? Hope. Hope? Harper. Yeah, sorry. Dad? Chevy. Chevy. And Natalie. And Natalie, where are you from? We're from rugby. From rugby? Yeah. Are you having a good holiday? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. what hotel are you stopping in? Yeah, oh, that's all the way up there, isn't it? Yeah, We've been yeah. following you every morning. Have you? To come in to make sure the weather's gonna yeah, be nice weather. for there, us. Yeah, yeah, well, do you know what? This morning I'll come down because I thought it was going to rain and it did spit a little yeah. bit. It was, and we were sat But I think it, it's roasting, isn't it? It is, it's still looking. You're going to love it. So you're having a good holiday, girls? Yeah. Yeah, what have you been up to? Anything exciting? Where did we go yesterday? Uh, did you? Which one? The one here in Playa Blanca? No, the Costa de Guise one. Oh, that's a long, long way up there. Did you drive or get the bus? Got the bus. It's, it, it's good. Yeah. The one here, in my opinion, is not as big, but it's a lot newer. So oh, maybe, okay. maybe try this one as well. Maybe try this one. Get in, it's well. got a wave yeah. pool in that one. There's not many slides though. There's only about four or five oh, slides. Lots of slides. But it's a nice yeah, day. Oh, fantastic. Like well, look, you're gonna you're live on TikTok and you're going to be on YouTube a little bit later on. Oh, wow. And I'm going to put you on the front cover. Yes, oh. of the t of the YouTube video because yeah, I like to have I like going, to have yeah. a lovely family waving. Here's a couple of stickers yeah, for you. Or give them to you. Oh yeah, I'll give you a couple more. Mrs. Traveller will go mad. There you go. A couple for you as well. And I always say you can put my face on your case with them. Look, there you dare to go on your suitcases. All right. See you later. Lovely to meet you. See you soon. Bye bye. Oh, lovely family. Lovely family. I do like saying hello to the lovely families on holiday. So we've got about 8% left on YouTube. So just about got that family on, didn't we? And I think I'll put them on the thumbnail. Um, although I do need to show that it's a bit cloudy. <laughs> I might have to superimpose them on. So, hello, how are you? You've literally got 7% battery to be on YouTube. Get together, tell me who you are, look. George and Hannah. George and Hannah, where are you from? Uh, we're from Romford, innit? From Romford, fantastic. You having a good holiday? Yeah, loving it. Where really are you stopping? Coming to see you. Oh, there yeah, you really go. Well, well right. yeah, it's not like me to be out on a Saturday. I'm usually a Sunday boy, but there you go. Where are you stopping? What hotel? Uh, Sandbox. I'm oh, that's nice, yeah. that, isn't it? Yeah, it's nice. Yeah, all inclusive, half board, self catering? Yeah, all inclusive. You've got the band on and everything. Yeah. <laughs> so you've got everything included. Yeah, Somebody yeah. asked earlier, is it good to go all inclusive? I think it is if you, yeah. if you can't be asked. I know. We so, still go for like one or two meals out. Yeah. Um, but, but then. You know, but stay in there. Is the entertainment on in the night time? Yeah, there's a really good singer, actually. Really? Yeah, yeah. There she, you go. Yeah, she was all good. Fun. How long are you for? Uh, till Friday. Yeah, Happy days. Happy days, 10 days. Well, look, I'm going to give you a couple of my stickers. Cheers, my you. face on your case. And you are literally on the end of this YouTube video. I'm just about to say goodbye to YouTube. I'll see you later. Bye. They just about made that, didn't they? They just about made that. I didn't expect to see so many people today on a bloody Saturday. I've got to get out of here. Otherwise, Mrs. Travelon is going to go crazy. She doesn't know it yet. But when I get home, I'm going to say, Mrs. Travelon, I need a load more stickers, please. Another bloody day. Another day. Right, let me, uh... in fact, YouTube, you got 6%. You can either stick with me or you can't. <laughs> so let's head back in this direction. I'll show you these views again. Look, I don't know what's going on here, like I said, but we shall see. I'm going to put this camera on the cat thing here. Look, there's the Volcan Hotel. Look, um, I'll tell you what. While we're here, let's end our video at the Volcan. Let's go to church and let's confess our sins. For those of you that don't know, wait until you see this. This is the reception of a hotel, believe it or not. Might get a bit windy now, because I'm just coming into this little street. But I might as well say goodbye to you here. Oh, someone else is waving. You got literally two seconds to say hello on this video before 
before I've got a big red sign that says the battery's going. Oh, no. Quickly, get in. Oh, hello, how are you? <laughs> Lens hey. looks. How's the new yeah. villa? Perfect. Yeah? Are you, yeah. Have you opened? Are you, are you, are you, which villa are you stopping in? One of them? We're now in Ariana. Ah. The other one in January, we go completely to renovate Alicia. Oh my and gosh. On our site. Excellent, excellent. Yeah. So you having a good time? Yeah, perfect. How long are you here for this time? Uh, one week and we're another week. Spending yeah. money, watching bands that say these, these guys are not like Mr. Travel on. They like to spend all their money in Lanzarote, don't yeah. you? You love it. <laughs> but you're into all the bands and the music, aren't yeah, you? Course, Fantastic. Yeah. Brilliant. Music place. And you messaged and said you haven't got a mug. Did you not get a mug when I did the villa tour with you? No, of course not. Was I not doing it? No, Mind you, you, you were, but you were one of the very first people ever yeah, yeah, yeah. to invite me to a villa, weren't you? Exactly. Yeah. Well, when are we doing the new one? January. Right, January. Right. It's now uh, up for people already, but we go completely make, an, uh, make over. Fantastic. So you need to go and follow this guy on TikTok, Lands Lux Villas. He knows everything about Lanzarote. Ruthie says hello. Joanne says hello. All the moderators oh, said perfect. hello. And um, message me. I'll try and get a mug to you this time. If not, perfect. Um, when I do the video in June, January, I've got three percent. I'm going to go in there, we and then go yeah, in there. are you going in there yeah. as well? What you book a oh. wellness day. Book a wellness day. Look, you two are always spending money. Right, let me get, let me bob in there. Yeah, when do you want to book? Uh, take the code. LLV for your discount. LLV and it's Lands Lux. Lanza Lux Villa. Lanza Lux Villas Right, they've got two villas here. Look, going for a wellness day in bloody Balkan Hotel. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they know how to live, these two. Right, I'm going to show these quickly. We've got 2%. <laughs> Let me get in this reception look and show you this before we go. We're going to confess our sins. We're going to say our prayers, look. And then, YouTube, you are literally gone. <laughs> TikTok, you can come with me to the car. Right, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. This is the reception of the hotel. You hear the music? Oh, it smells good as well. It smells super good. It's the reception of a hotel. It's madness. It's absolute madness. Oh, it smells beautiful. It smells beautiful. Let me show you. And then I'm going to say goodbye to YouTube. Here we go. Look. Five star this. Beautiful, beautiful place. Look at that. Absolutely gorgeous. Voila. <laughs> you have to say your prayers in here. It smells so good, doesn't it? Oh, you need to get one at some of these sprays for the villa. Ask Nicola, she knows where to get the um, hotel scent, a diffuser. Ask Nicola on here. She keeps sending me the information. I'll see you soon. Send me WhatsApp. I'm shouting in the church. Right, let's get out here, show you the views. And then 2% left. Let's pray to the Lord. <laughs> we bloody need to. Right, let me just put you here, look. Turn you around here. Say goodbye to YouTube. So YouTube, Saturday live. It's not like me. Maybe I should do a Saturday and a Sunday morning live. These moderators are going absolutely crazy, thinking, Jesus Christ, give us a break. But honestly, thank you for joining me, moderators, today. I cannot believe you're all on. It's Saturday. You know, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but I hope you enjoyed that little Saturday morning walk to get the weight off. I'll see you tomorrow at nine o'clock um, somewhere in Lanzarote and it will be uploaded on YouTube as always. YouTube, make sure to like, follow and subscribe. People on TikTok, head over to YouTube, make sure to follow and subscribe. People on TikTok, stay where you are. We're going to walk a little bit further. Love you all. Right.